Hello, my name is Laurie Harris, and today we will be discussing Pinterest ads. So, like all Vibetran connectors, you simply go to the top right and add connector. For the sake of this demo, we will be proceeding with the BigQuery destination. I will simply select my BigQuery destination and click Continue Setup. Once we have selected our destination, it brings you to the beauty of uh, 225 sources to choose from natively within our platform. So we will simply be typing in Pinterest ads at the top, selecting it, and continue setup. Once we arrive to this page, uh, like most of our application sources, we will have to choose a destination schema name and simply walk through the setup guide. Pinterest ads is fine. Let's add demo underscore to this. From here, it will go ahead and authorize and, and make an API call to validate those credentials. For the sake of this, I am registered with Okta. Um, it will uh, choose your OAuth type, so I will simply sign in to Pinterest. And then I will simply just grant it access. Now, once authentication is succeeded, it will bring you to the option of what type of sync you want. Would you like to sync all advertisers or specify advertiser accounts within Pinterest? For the sake of this, I will be syncing all the advertisers since it is only a single Pinterest ads account. And then it presents you to further options. Now, none of these are mandatory. These are all optional features. If you want to change the attribution windows, uh, you have click, engagement, and view and you have the conversion report time. Again, these are all optional. Um, the ad event dropdown is just simply the date that the user enacted with the ad, and the conversion event is simply the date that the user completed a conversion event. Again, not needed. What is mandatory is at the very bottom is the historical sync time frame. It's simply how far back you want to go to grab that sync. We can do as little as three months, or we can do a full all time. Depending on how long you want that sync, it will take longer to actually sync to completion. So for this, we will proceed with simply three months and save and test. Now, this is simply a connection test checklist. It is validating those optional attribution windows that we did not select and just verifying the connection to the API, those credentials that we had put in that I registered with Okta. So it's just making sure it can actually reach my account. So once all connection tests pass, you can go ahead and click continue. Now, this simply brings us to our status dashboard. So from here, our data is ready to sync. We can go ahead and start our initial sync. Now, this gives us a bunch of options. Uh, you can see the sync is now kicked off. It is doing a full historical sync over the last three months. Uh, it gives you one hour, one day, one week views from here. You can see any alerts that will take place, failures, errors. You can see the user actions uh, as schemas are changed and updated. Um, you can see that there. And simply just stats here. There is nothing to view at the moment, but just different stats surrounding that sync history. Now, if anything goes wrong or you see any errors within logs or you simply just want to check this, make sure that the API call is successful, you can go into our logs and you can check to see records modified. You can see how these tables are created or you can even filter by errors and warnings. There is nothing at the moment, which is all good signs. Now, with our sync frequency, we're able to view as frequent as five minutes or update as frequent as five minutes, maximum 24 hours. For a Pinterest ad, something like this, six hours is more than fine for me. I do not have many tables, and I will show you what that looks like in a second. Navigating over to our schema tab, you can see all 31 tables that was brought over. So six hours is more than enough. These are the only tables that I'm concerned with. And this is what's currently syncing at the moment. If I were to go back all time or something extensive, then this sync would take much longer. So let's go and check on the status of that. Nice. So you can see it's at the tail end. And let's change the view. It is complete. So you can see the bar that that sync duration for the 31 tables took approximately 52 seconds. Status is now completed. And you get some additional options in here, just in, in terms of the stats surrounding it. 
and what the volume was. This is simply Pinterest ads. Thank you so much for your time and I hope this helps.